My name is Russell Schumacher. I sold technology to the world back when there was technology. And people to sell it to. I think it was Emerson who said, to different minds, the same world is heaven and hell. When I first arrived in New Eden, I was entranced by the beauty, the serenity. 48 hours later, my frame of mind had changed dramatically. JD hadn't just brought me in to help him sell the virtues of New Eden. He wanted to convert me, turn me into a true believer, not just to grow his flock, but to control his flock. The more who believed his story, the more real it became to him and his followers. I think JD deluded himself into believing he was chosen, and that's what made him truly dangerous. Luther told others about the satellite, but no one else wanted to hear the truth. And why would they? JD's story gave them hope of salvation. All those true believers, I knew I couldn't take away their faith, but I could take away JD's ability to deceive more followers. Maybe it was my own foolish pride, maybe it was just those earrings. I couldn't resist trying to save Abby. Should have known, you can't save someone who doesn't want to be saved. Luther and I both knew damn well what would happen if they caught us. Sometimes fear is a good thing. It pushes you beyond your own bounds, to a place where a million years of survival instincts kick in. Where you don't have to think about your actions. Where something higher takes over, spurs you to victory. That's what's meant to be. I was hoping to loosen JD's stranglehold on his flock. All I really did was strengthen his grip. No more demons in the cornfield. I gave JD a real flesh and blood villain to unite his flock against. And he gave me all the evidence I needed to call him my enemy. JD proclaimed it a battle between good and evil. Who was good? Who was evil? As with everything, that depends entirely on your point of view.